So, let's start in order. Turning the TPM on. So, in pretty much every system, um, the TPM is turned on in the BIOS menu. Um, you've got your boot menu, that you know is usually with F12, sometimes with F2, it depends on the machine, sometimes the BIOS lies about what the key is, but you can figure that out yourself. Um, where in that BIOS menu depends on the BIOS. So, in each BIOS menu, the where exactly we turn the TPM on varies. Um, I have seen it in security, I've seen it in TPM security, I've seen it in security chip, and that's just the set of BIOSes that I've looked at. This is not a comprehensive survey. In general, when you go looking for the TPM, if there isn't explicitly a TPM option, start looking for things that look security related. Sometimes at the first level, sometimes it's 3 in. I'm sorry. Um, to make matters even more confusing, there is not necessarily a simple on-off button for the TPM. Some BIOSes will give you one anyway. But technically, the TPM has two different versions of on or off. A TPM can be activated or deactivated. It can also be enabled or disabled. And any of these states can be toggled in any combination. Um, realistically, if you are going to use the TPM, it needs to be both activated and enabled, which is why many BIOSes just give you an on and off option. Sometimes they will say enabled, disabled, in which case you can kind of assume it's also including activated and deactivated. Yes, those states are technically different, but they have to do with some minor administrative commands. If you, in any context where you actually want to use the TPM, don't worry about the distinction, just turn the darn thing on. Um, there have been a couple of systems that I've seen where you need, to, you need to turn this on and then reboot the machine and then go back into the BIOS menu and turn it on again because it won't let you both activate it and enable it in one step. Unfortunately, we don't have enough data points right now for me to give you the chart of how to turn on every TPM on every known system. It is still a little bit of trial and error, but the vast majority of machines it is a fairly straightforward reboot and turn on one BIOS option, um, mostly. The other thing that you can sometimes do in the BIOS, and I'm mentioning it now because if you go into the BIOS to turn your TPM on, this is where you may see this option. Is sometimes you will see activated, deactivated, and clear. Clear is a special command that basically wipes the TPM. It erases the owner. It erases the storage root key. So all of your encrypted data is gone. Um, all of your keys are now useless. They can never be decrypted again. This is normally used because I may want to transfer the TPM to a, transfer this machine to a new owner. Or in some cases, if you're a researcher like me that has like six machines that I use erratically, if I've forgotten the password and there's never any data of importance on it, you just clear it and restart it. Um, some biases turn the TPM off again after you clear it, so you need to go back in and, and turn it on again. Um, this is where the evil maid really comes in. Is you can go into the BIOS and in some cases, but not all of them, clear the TPM. Um, in general, if your BIOS often offers a clear option and you're in an enterprise scenario where you're worried about evil maids, we do strongly recommend you turn on a BIOS password because you don't really want somebody doing this. Um, and in fact, even if you're not worried about evil maids, you're just worried about clueless users, you probably want to turn it on because all it takes is one user thinking that clearing sounds like the sort of the equivalent to rebooting something and something's not working. So if I clear it, I'm sure it'll start working again to regret. 